Next, it is Memorial Day weekend ahead of us here in the Bay Area. We have everyone on standby for you. First alert meteorologist Jessica Birch has a look at what we can expect outside. Gianna Franco has all those road closures you need to know about. There's a lot going on for Bottle Rock and Carnival. But we start with Jocelyn Moran live at SFO. And Jocelyn's obviously is going to be really busy. It's the start of the travel season. What are you seeing there this morning? It's still pretty early. Yeah, it is still pretty early, but people have those early flights, Amanda. SFO is actually expecting to debate to be one of their busiest days in a few years. I want to show you this uh, bag check-in line if you are planning to come. We are in Terminal 2 to be specific. This is what you're going to see right now as of 6 a.m. here as far as the line to check in your bags. But let's give you a look at this TSA line. This is where you are going to see really the waves of people coming in, especially between an hour and a half to two hours before their flight. So we're about 6 a.m. We're looking at about those 7.30, 8 a.m. flights. That's when you start to see really the waves of people coming in. Earlier this morning, we got a better idea as to why people are traveling this weekend. Some of the reasons. Three-day weekends are a good opportunity for those soccer tournaments. So we were talking to some people. That was a reason for that. Also, it is toward the end of May right now. A lot of college students are finishing up school, so they may they may be traveling back home for the summer. That's another reason why we have heard people are traveling this weekend. So we talked with somebody. They're actually going to one of those soccer tournaments we mentioned. Listen to what she said as far as what she did to prepare for these long lines. We just got here super early, so we got up at like 2.30 this morning to get on the road and travel here and make sure we are all ready to go through the gates and meet our team. All right, so we're in Terminal 2 here. This is where Alaska Airlines is, Delta as well. I did walk to Terminal 3. It's a little bit of a different picture right now. It's not as crowded as it is here in Terminal 2. That could change. I will go back there in about a half hour to see how things are looking, but that's where United is at. Not nearly as crowded as it is here. Gianna SFO is busy. Oakland International Airport is also expected to be busy. San Jose Mineta International Airport also expected to be busy. There is a lot that's going to be going on this weekend, including the Carnaval Parade. Last year when I was there, I was actually talking to people who come specifically this weekend for that parade, so a lot going on. Just be sure to be prepared and make sure for those domestic flights you are coming two hours before and for international flights a little bit longer for that. Yeah, definitely want to give yourself some extra time and look at all those people already mm -hmm. to get out of town. And if not, it's yeah. not the airports, it's the roadways too. So if you're getting ready to take any of our Bay Area freeways this morning for that getaway travel day, definitely plan ahead and give yourself some extra time. Now, I do want to talk about current traffic conditions right now because I am getting word of a traffic alert that was just issued by CHP southbound 17 right at 280. Only one lane is open. This is right around that Hamilton Avenue exit. We're getting word that this is possibly a fatal crash. That someone to die in this crash. So we'll get more information as it comes in. Very lightly traveled right now. They are diverting traffic off the freeway. Even with that one left lane open, you might see a few brake lights as you approach there. Not a lot of cars out there. It is Friday. That certainly helps the morning commute a little bit. But unfortunately, another deadly crash. This is the third one we've reported on this week. And just with a lot of people hitting the roadways this weekend, be extra cautious and careful as you are out there. Keep your eyes peeled for other cars and just watch your speed. All right, our busiest freeway is expected for the Memorial Day weekend will be 80, 101, and 580. Those are typically our getaway routes. Eastbound 80, maybe for folks heading over to Tahoe, 580 if you're trying to make that trek over to I-5, and of course 101, maybe you're going to take a ride along the coast along Highway 1. Friday this afternoon between 3 and 6 will be the busiest time on the roadways, and that's right in the heart of drive time as well, so definitely start thinking about that. Monday, if you're coming home, afternoon will be busy, as well as Tuesday afternoon. We'll see some pretty busy traffic conditions. Bay Area bridges will likely be be very busy, busy, so Bay Bridge as well as the Golden Gate Bridge. So just expect delays. And if you can leave before noon, it is probably a very good ID. 